Hey guys, before we get today's video started, I wanna give a massive shout out to today's video sponsor and someone who helps keep projects like the S2000 going keeps. Two or three guys will experience some form of hair loss before they turn 35 years old. The best thing to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some hair left. And if we're going to ride top down with a convertible, I want some luscious locks to be able to flow in the wind. One of the best things about Keeps is that you don't have to go broke to avoid going bald. Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. They make it easy and deliver medication every three months so you don't have to go to a pharmacy, wait around, go search around. They deliver it straight to you. If you're interested in trying out the Keeps product check out the link that is on the screen right now or you can head to the first link down in the description and save yourself 50% off of your first use some of you may have tried keeps products before but never at this price remember you can save 50% off of your first order by using the link on the screen or the first link down in the description if you guys haven't already please check out keeps it is definitely worth it and like I said we need some luscious locks to be able to flow in the wind with our tops down all right guys let's get into the video Man, the turning radius on this thing, very nice. What is up guys and welcome back to the S2K project videos. This is gonna be so much fun and we are just getting started. In the last video, you guys got the announcement of the S2000 and today we're going a little bit more in depth with this car. Number one today, I wanna give you guys a full walk around of this thing and show you all the good and all the bad, which the bad is, uh, yeah, there's a good amount. But we're also gonna be cleaning this thing because when I bought this car, the owner actually didn't clean it. And it's it's pretty gross and smells like old man on the inside. So we're gonna take care of all of that today. You guys are gonna learn all about the S2000 and even some project details on what planned for this thing because it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. <laughs> First things first, let's go ahead and talk about the car. If you guys watched the last video, you already know this, but this is a 2001 Honda AP1, but it has an AP2 engine swap. It's weird, I know, you don't get any of the benefits either way, so very strange. The car currently has 124,000 miles on it. There's no record of the engine swap, so I have no idea how many miles are on this engine, but the car runs great, it feels awesome. The steering is so tight, and I cannot wait to actually get on it and actually like just have fun with the car. I'm very very excited for this build and before we get started doing anything to it I want to give you guys the full walk around and show you everything on this car and I thought we would go ahead and start with the exterior because that's pretty much the roughest part of this car so let's go ahead and talk about it all right so when you really think about this, this car is very, very old. When I first sat in this car and drove it for the first time, it's hard to think about that this is a 2001. Makes this 19 years old. The S2000 does not feel like a 19 year old car, but when you think about it, that's actually really old and you forget that old cars get blemishes and this one definitely has a bunch. So I'm gonna go through the entire car and just show you guys some of the, some of the problem areas that I've noticed and kind of things that we're gonna do to change it. So issue number one, we have paint cracking all through Throughout the car so you guys can see right here this is actually pretty bad uh, the actual paint and clear coat is already coming off of it and this is definitely gonna have to get fixed you guys can probably see right here too Lift this camera up the headlight is cracking really really bad and yellowing so I want the JDM headlights either way so if I don't if I don't find a set of JDM headlights right away I'm just gonna try and do a restoration on this and see if we can fix all of this oh yeah, we've got some cracking going on, not good. So as you guys can see, front bumper right there, happening in the exact same spot on the opposite side of the car with the headlight also pretty bad. And we have a nice chunk taken out of the front lip. So pretty much I just wanna replace the entire front bumper. As you guys know, there's tons of options for the S2000. The two that I'm currently thinking about of doing like a full kit is either Voltex or I would really like to go with Spoon. Currently working with a couple of different companies to see what is available and how long things are gonna take, but I think I've chosen, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like Voltex for the S2000 or do you like Spoon? 
think I'm gonna go spoon, but I wanna hear from you guys. We've got some, some jankiness going on right here. I don't know, there's just lots of blemishes. So that's the front bumper. All along the car, you guys can see, we have some pretty gnarly paint fade on the fender right here, as well as the mirrors, which I'm pretty sure that this is common with older Honda paint, because on my old Civic Si, the 2008 one, uh, we had tons of paint fade on it as well. So we have that. The trunk is actually pretty bad. Tons of surface area scratches. Uh, the light on the trunk is actually just completely destroyed, so that's gonna have to be replaced. Looking at the rear bumper, you know, it's not terrible, but we do have a couple of scratches kind of like this right here. We have a pretty deep one on this side. Luckily, there's no like massive dents or like any real hardcore blemishes on the car. Bumper doesn't really fit that well too. We have a saggy little bumper right here. That kind of worries me. I don't know about this. Also on the other side of the car, this mirror is, oh, yep. The clear coat on this mirror is also cracking away too. So definitely gonna have a color change or maybe just a repaint of this car. Moving along, you guys can see that tr the trim around the windshield is, is pretty rough as well. Even the rubber moldings right here is starting to lift. Uh, I've read that this is a pretty common issue. Of course, you can just end up scraping all of this off and get it wrapped or repainted or whatever, but just a pain in the butt, but we gotta get it done somehow. So moldings and trim are not in the best shape. Last but not least for the exterior, we do have the soft top. The soft top on the O1s and probably the O2s are notorious for the soft top window in the back fading. I literally, when driving this with the soft top on, cannot see anything out of the back of this car, which is very sketchy. Also, this thing has tons of tears. We have one right here. We've got one right there. There's a little guy right there. We have this guy. So tons of tears in the soft top. Soft top is definitely gonna have to be replaced, but I eventually do wanna do a hard top. I love the spoon hard top on this car. So hopefully that's something that we can do in the future. But other than everything I just listed, the exterior of the car really, really, when you think about it, is not that bad. We have no dents, nothing misaligned, besides that little piece on the rear bumper, it's kind of sketchy. But like I keep saying, this car is a 10 footer. From 10 feet away, you notice none of this, but once you get up close and start looking at things, you're like, Oh yeah, that's with any old car and that's what makes this, that's what's gonna make this so much fun for me is that it's just a project to make it look nice again and I'm very, very excited. Usually uh, I always try and find the cleanest car to buy and stuff. I wanted something that was a little bit jank to kind of build up and make, make awesome again. So now that you guys saw the exterior, let's jump on the interior, which is probably one of my favorite parts about this car. So let's go ahead and put this top down here. Definitely one of my favorite parts about the car. With the interior of the car, one thing that I really did want to look for was the red and black interior, which this car had minus the seats. Um, I did want, I did find one with the seats, but unfortunately uh, the deal didn't go through with that one. So I found this one and it had black seats, which I can deal with, but uh, the interior is surprisingly not that bad. Granted, it smells like, like just like an old, old car, which we're definitely gonna have to fix today. The carpeting really isn't bad. It could definitely use a good wash and some, some TLC. I mean, there's no tears in the seats. There's obviously uh, like leather wear from people sitting in the seats over the years, but nothing that's terrible. Honestly, the worst part about this interior is the plastic chipping off of the buttons on the interior. This could be easily fixed. Just pull this panel off and pull in, put in new buttons if I decide to do that. This car came with an aftermarket single din radio, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take this out, close this. We do have the red carpeting. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit dirty. So with, with some cleaning stuff that we have today, hopefully we can get this a little bit more vibrant and more red. Uh, the steering wheel shows some sign of wear, but that's to be expected with the car. I love the S2000 dash. It's so ahead of its time, I feel like. And this one still has the AP1 dash, obviously, because it shows that you can rev to 9,000, even though this has the AP2 engine, which only gets you up to 8,500. Still doesn't make any sense to me, but overall, the interior is actually really nice. Definitely one of my favorite parts are the red door cards. I just think that's so cool. But now that you guys know about the exterior and the interior, let's go ahead and talk about the engine, which is definitely the sketchiest part of the car. So. 
So the engine bay itself and the engine is pretty dirty. Like I said, when I bought the car, the owner didn't wash it at all. It looks like it hasn't been washed in a while. It looks like it's been sitting, honestly. But like I said, this over this car overall is gonna need tons of TLC, which is what the whole project is about. We're gonna have so much fun with this thing. But the engine swap seems like it was done okay. Everything works. We have AC in the car. Uh, the car runs really good. It sounds good, feels healthy. Obviously, I think it'd be smart to do like a full compression test. The owner said that he had a compression test done and it was around 180 to 200. Honestly, it's probably smart to get your get my own compression test, uh, change the injector, spark plugs, just do basic maintenance that I would like to know personally is done on the car. So you can definitely expect that to be done along with an oil change. But I guess I'll go ahead and start the car so you guys can hear it. Sounds really good. So as you guys can probably see, the car overall is a pretty awesome car. One thing that I would love to know is how many miles are on this engine, but I'm not too sure how I would figure that out. I don't know, does the VIN number come on the engine? I could probably search the VIN number, see if the car that had this engine in it was salvaged. Something along the lines of that, I'm not too sure, but uh, as long as it feels good and it you no, know, it runs good the way it is. We should be pretty good to go. So all in all, the S2000 was a great buy in my opinion. It's such a fun car and I've been loving it the past few days that I, that I bought it. In preparation to help me get this thing ready and get this project going, I will be working exclusively with Art of Attack on getting this thing on starting, on starting up the project with this thing and I'm so excited. Art of Attack does a lot of track driving in their new FK8 as well as the new Toyota Supra and they actually invited me out to help teach me and help me learn how to actually road race. I thought the S2000 would be a perfect car to learn that in, especially because the R32 is, is currently getting the new turbo setup built at Enticed. I can learn in this while that's getting built and once the GTR is done, we get to rip around and have a lot of fun in the GTR because I will have a little bit of track time uh, with the S2000. So I think the beginning stages of this build is just going to be doing the accessories wheels tires maybe a, another exhaust besides the skunk 2 and some uh, and some suspension components to help this thing get on the track and just be a ton of fun for me to drive and for me to actually learn so that is going to be the start of the s2000 build and i am so excited to take you guys along now that you guys have a full overview of the s2000 i want to give this thing its first wash this thing is disgusting i haven't even cleaned the interior so here with me Get over here, Tiana. Come on, you're just, you're moving slow. Here with me, I have Tiana, and we are gonna do some TLC to the interior <laughs> and the exterior of this car, because it needs, what does this thing smell like? An old man. It smells like an old car. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a smelly car. So we're gonna be cleaning out the interior of this car, and we're gonna give it its first wash and just make this thing a little bit cleaner. So let's go get started. All right, T, are you ready for this? <laughs> A huge thank you to Meguiar's, by the way. As you can see, we have a, we just got in this week, actually, a huge shipment. Meguiar's, all new products, and there's no better time to use their new stuff than on a new car. So for the interior, first off, we're gonna be using the Citrus Power Cleaner Plus, and we're gonna be using this on the carpet, because like I said, the red carpet's nice, but I feel like using some cleaner on it can make it pop a little bit more, get some of the dirt out, and uh, we're just gonna be scrubbing the carpet with the Citrus Power Cleaner, and uh, let's see how it looks. This is kind of like a before four shot. I don't know if it looks as dirty as it is on camera as it is as it looks in person but this thing just we need some love here. So this is what we're going to be using first. I will do the driver side and T will be doing the passenger side. Oh that is disgusting. Oh that's what door. we've been sitting in? Yeah. That's just off the door. Not even the seats or the steering oh. wheel. Interior has been cleaned and just to show you guys the filth that we got out of the car So this is from just the uh, just the driver's seat here. We have got some like hairs and 
I don't know, like peanuts or something from in the middle. Yeah, this thing is disgusting. Oh man, so we have this one and then we also have, just from the rest of the interior, from the door cards and stuff like that, this is what we were sitting in and driving in, but now it is clean. Let's. It's actually pretty bad. That's, ooh. Like it's dark. That's, That's right. dark. Look, oh man, wow. All my car guys know when you actually like clean your car and get to sit in a clean car and drive it afterwards, it is the best feeling. Let's take a look at the interior, see what it looks like now. Number one, the smell alone that it's like a citrusy clean smell in here now the leather is really popping the leather looks a lot better especially on like the dash and the center console now i don't know if you can tell on camera but it definitely looks way way better now that we actually wiped everything down it just shines a lot better from the product so the one thing that i don't have is like a shop vac or like a portable like garage vacuum which i definitely do need to order i should have thought about that before this but working with what we got the interior is actually pretty clean when he gave it to me which is good so still going back here yeah still going strong look at that wow so the interior is definitely way way better i'm gonna wait just a little bit till the sun goes down outside uh once we have some shade i'll go ahead and start washing the exterior of the car yeah. It's time to get the exterior because this thing is just absolute Bill probably hasn't been washed in a solid few months here. He said it's just been sitting outside. It obviously looks like it has. I have to be careful with the soft top because of all the tears, but let's go ahead and wash this thing. And it's the first official wash and I get to see this thing actually clean. We have pulled the car in, it is now clean. All my car guys know how good of a feeling it is to have a fresh and clean car, and especially for the first time ever owning it. This thing is, it's like a new car now me at least fresh interior exterior we are good to go you guys know ins and out of everything on this car and we can officially get the s2000 project started i am so excited Woo! It's, it's good crazy that it actually looks like a lot better it does the walk it does look way better now that we washed it. it made a huge difference it literally probably has not been washed in a couple months even though ripped to my honda badge i literally dustin uses too much gorilla power when cleaning things and he just goes Boom, and it flies off. Yeah, so rip to the Honda badge. Time for some JDM badges, it's fine. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe for more awesome content. We have tons of stuff left to do, obviously, you can see in the garage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next. Peace out.